What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about how to get into history or Augment for free anytime you want. I recently made two videos I'll link down below on bypassing the portal to get into Augment and history by using a Black Spears Claw piece and taking it to an NPC. I've definitely been using this feature a lot and it's great, the only problem is A, you have to grind for the spirit piece or B, you have to wait for it to fill. However, I've learned that you can actually bypass even using a Black Spirit Claw piece by using a Sage and tagging them. So let's get started. The very first thing we're going to do is untag any previous characters we had tagged before and then we're going to tag our character that we want to grind with at history or augment to our sage my sage right now is in kalfion city though so i can't actually tag him at the moment so let's go ahead and get him to velia all right here's my sage so we're going to head off to velia Man, this guy is built. Look at those arms. Looks just like me in real life. All right, so now my sage is in Valley, so I'm going to transfer back to my main. So hit the tag button. We're going to find our sage and then click on him and hit tag. Now they are officially tagged. Now we do not have to item copy if you don't want to. Make sure your sage is level 60. If we go to the skills right here and then head all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see a Tor's eye right here. This becomes unlocked at level 60. This is the skill that we need to get into these places for free. So again, you have to be level 60 on your sage to do this. Next thing we're going to do is head to Sand Grain Bazaar. So again, here's where we were at at Velia. If you do go to History of Aukman, you know you usually have to go to Sand Grain and then find the portal around here in the desert. So what we're doing now is we're running down from Sand Grain all the way down to the Aukman node down here. The NPC is hiding beneath this Aukman node, but you can see him right there if you look. Now in order to find out where you are in the desert, you do have to have a compass. I got one from the Oasis event right now from talking to Ellie near any stable in any major town. If the event is over by the time you're watching this though, just get three of these and put them together in the shape of a hyphen. It'll make the same thing essentially, so you'll be able to find your way in the desert. All right, so here here we are, we're pulling up to the node. And here he is, Atosa. So normally we would bypass the portal and head directly into history or Aukman by talking to him with a Black Spirit's Claw, but now we can just transfer to our Sage. However, we won't let you because you cannot tag in the Ocean Desert, it will say. So what we're going to do is go to Character Selection. I'm going to scroll down and click on my Sage. We're going to log in. So now we're going to talk to Atosa on our Sage. Hit chat. And now we can literally transfer to Aukman or Histria anytime we want for free. Let's say I want to teleport to Histria. We click that. Bam! Now we are in Histria. No portal needed. No Black Spirit Claw needed. And we can get grinding right away. Now, of course, I don't play on my Sage and all my gear is on my main. So I'm going to switch back to her. Of course, it won't let us. So we're going to go back to character selection. Now, if you notice, it has the little tag symbol right here. As you can see, it says the Goddess Athena, which is my main, is tagged. It says it right here as well. So I click on my main and hit enter. And since they are tagged, my main is in history and I am ready to grind. Next up, I'm going to show you guys Kratuga. So Kratuga Ancient Ruins is, of course, west of Alta Nova. We're going to head over here where it says Hasra Ancient Ruins. Kratuga is a great grinding spot as well, but of course, it does require that slate to get into unless you have a tag sage. So let's go try it out. For those of you who don't know how to get into Kratuga, we're going to open up the map and it's right by this left number five where it says uh, level 50. Well, I guess I can't see it right now because my horse, but the left number five right here is where we're at. So here you can see it all starts to slant uphill when you get to Hasra cliff we're gonna head south into the tunnel right here take a right into this little room right here we take a left at the end of the room down here head into this room take a left down here in this room right here head into this room past the pillar take a right down here head into the bigger room right here where the pillar is and then we head straight past the pillar straight across the room into that little entrance down there past the water Gonna kill this annoying mob, head past it. So keep going straight into this room right here. There's a little pillar about to pop up there. We're gonna head past that, head past this little right corner right here. Keep going straight. When you see the little entrance with the gate right there, we're gonna not go there. We're gonna head to the right, or to the west rather. Gonna keep heading straight and bam, there it is right there. So we walk up to it, here's the sealed door. We're gonna switch over to our Sage now. Once we're on our Sage, we hit R, talk to the door, and as you can see, we can head straight into Kratuga. No slate needed. And bam, here we are in Kratuga, so now we can either switch back to our main if we play on our main, or just play on Sage if that's what our main is. Again, if it doesn't let you switch because of the character tag cooldown, you just go to character selection and then transfer back there. Because they are tagged, we just go back on our main. So here we are on my main, ready to grind. So here we are at the dock, I'm gonna grab my boat, The last place we're going to check out is Sakaria. So here's Velia, of course, if you don't know already. We're going to head to Sakaria, which is north of Ilya Island right here. We're just going to right-click here and then head there. If you don't already have a boat, I will list a couple options down below. All that matters is that you go north of Ilya Island right here, where it says Sakaria Underwater Ruins. And as long as it has Sakaria Underwater Ruins on the mini-map, all you got to do is press Escape and then go into Escape, Escape. It will teleport you automatically to Underwater Sakaria. 
For those of you who don't know, there's two underwater places. The Abyssal is probably the place that you want to grind at. You're going to head north and just go uphill a little bit again, and then you're going to head a bit, little bit to the west. You're going to head up here where this little temple is on these stairs. Head up here. Head right here to this entrance right here. And as you see, here's the entrance right here, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go over to our sage. And now that we're on our sage, we're going to talk to the sealed device, hit chat, and here we go. Bam! So here we are at Underwater Abyssal Sicario, another one of the best grind spots in the game. We did not have to grind for the pieces at the top to get into this place. And since they are tagged, all I got to do is go back to the character selection screen, click on my main, and here we are, ready to go. And that's it. So now we can get grinding and have some fun. Let's get going. Legitimately, I want to thank you, Pearl Abyss, for letting us do this. This is awesome. Having access to four of the best grind spots in the game is absolutely awesome. Whether you're trying to go for the compass or just trying to get money from any of these spots these are all great spots to grind at definitely do this if you haven't already and you don't have a tag that you don't necessarily need tag if you play video you know that time is money so let's go ahead and get started guys thank you so much again for checking out my channel today don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate it don't forget to hit like too if it helps you out and of course don't forget to go follow me at twitch.tv slash it's pragma there's a link down below good luck on your grind may rng be on your side have a great rest of your week and don't forget grind harder baby let's go